In this exercise, we're going to create an orthographic projection of the object shown. The first step in creating an orthographic projection is to choose your front view. Then all of your views are based off of that. The way this part is oriented, you would be um, you know, tempted to call this your front view because that's what looks like the front view. Now in this case it's a little more complex because the front view is really the view that shows the most about the object. But if you look in this direction, really all you see is a rectangle. So in reality, uh, we should either choose this side or, or this to be our front view. However, we're just learning how to do orthographic projections and to choose either one of these views would be a little confusing. So I'm going to stick with the front view that's sort of shown in the figure. But just keep in mind, this is not really the best front view. All right, so if this is our front view, then this is our right side view, and this is our top view. All right, now to get a better handle on visualization, what I like to do is uh, shade in all the surfaces that you're going to see when you're constructing a particular view. So if we're doing the front view and we're looking this way, we would see this surface, that surface, and that surface. So let's go ahead and draw that. So when we draw it, we're going to see these shapes. Right. So that's what we should see in the front view. Now we don't have any dimensions. Uh, that's fine. We'll just kind of guess at the distances. All right, you can see that uh, we have this rectangle here on the top this here on the bottom, but we need to indicate where that surface starts to bend. All right, so that's our front view. So you can see why this is not a terribly good front view because it really doesn't show a lot about the object. All right, next we'll create the top view, and the top view is vertically aligned with the front view. So I'm gonna draw projectors up from every corner and edge of the front view. And if we're doing the top view, we're going to be viewing down this way. We'll see this surface here and this surface here. So the top view will have these shapes. All right, so I'm going to fill in this rectangle here first. And then we have this shape. So we know by the projector, this is where it starts to angle back. And there we go. So that's the top view. The right side view is going to be horizontally aligned with the front view. And then we're going to create a 45 degree angle projector. And project over and down from the top view. And this gives us a nice little area where our right side view is going to go. So if we shade in our surfaces, we're going to be viewing this way. We're going to see that shape and we're also going to see some of the angled surface. All right, so let's draw this shape in first. And the projectors will guide you. And then the angled surface. All right, so that's our right side view. The last thing we need to do is to erase our projectors, or if you're in a CAD program, just turn that layer off uh, so that we don't get confused with what our visible lines are and what our projectors are. And my suggestion is when you're sketching these 
uh, orthographic projections. If you're just beginning, definitely use a pencil because you're going to be erasing a lot.